Righto, tellio. Now, your wireless router is often one of the most overlooked pieces of equipment, which is actually vital to the way your connected house works, all your devices, laptops, desktops, phones, etc. And now we all have like 10, 11, 12, 13, 20 devices. You need a good wireless router to feed everybody. And this is the king, the ASUS ROG Raptor GT AC 5300 Extreme Gaming Router. And yes, this is the first ROG wireless router but just because it's a gaming router still if you just want the best router out there this is the one I mean have a look at it it looks like a beast doesn't it and we're talking this thing here has a 1.8 gigahertz quad core CPU super powerful I don't know any other router out there that has a quad core CPU if you have a look at it the only thing that really gives the gamer aesthetic away is the ROG logo on the top grill there other than that you wouldn't really think it's a gaming product it is very unique looking and I think it actually does look all right. I, I don't mind it actually. Anyway, so these come in at around $400 US, around $700 Australian. That's a bit of a difference there. I don't know why they cost so much here. But this is top of the line. So you cannot get better and you pay for the best. That's just how it is. And actually just thought about it. Azusa the only one that can offer end-to-end -end like products. Like if you're a gamer and you stick with all the ROG stuff, you can get a motherboard, desktop, graphics cards, you can get monitors, keyboards, and now you can get a wireless router. I mean, everything you want, you can get from the one ecosystem. So everything can match, so that's fantastic. Luckily, it doesn't have RGB, it looks pretty cool. So we're going on a little tour. You can't miss the eight antennas there. Looks like a sort of like a crown or something. On the top, you have the ventilation and you had that ROG logo you only really give away that this is a gaming router on the back you have the power button the power jack two USB 3 ports the WAN port 8 gigabyte ethernet ports two prioritized for gaming and two that you can link aggregate and just you might be able to see there it has a reset button as well on the front you have all the LED indicator lights there which can be turned off because if you go around to the left you have the LED light button, so you can turn the LED lights on and off, because I know that does annoy people. WPS button and the Wi-Fi button, so you can turn the Wi-Fi on and off. Now, great thing about this is it has the USBs at the back, so that's fantastic. It doesn't stick out the front. Built solid, eight antennas on it. It's a true 4x4 wireless router system. On the back, you have eight gigabit LAN ports. Two of them are dedicated for gaming. That means that those two connections will prioritize all the traffic to those two ports so that you get the best gaming experience. And you also can link aggregate two of those ethernet ports to get super fast connected speeds. You have two USB 3s at the back and we're talking 150 megabytes per second read and 100 megabytes per second write. Pretty much when I was connected a WD Blue to it, the actual hard drive bottleneck it, pretty much the fastest USB connections on any router out there. As I said, that super fast quad core 1.8 gigahertz processor. It has the latest 802.11ac 4x4 MU MIMO. So that basically means that you're not going to be slowed down by legacy devices. And it's also a tri-band router. So that means two 5 gigahertz networks and one of them is prioritized for gaming. So all the bandwidth goes there. It prioritizes the gaming first. Then you have another 5 gigahertz and a 2.4 gigahertz frequency as well. Now the coverage of this is amazing. The 5 gigahertz coverage on this is pretty much better than most routers 2.4 gigahertz coverage. It really is amazing. I go right out to the backyard and I still get super fast speed. I walked down the street and I was connected and that was the 2.4 gigahertz. Obviously 2.4 gigahertz signal travels further than 5 gigahertz. But this is the first 5 gigahertz router I've had that yeah I can actually get right at the back of my yard. Usually I cannot do that and we have like quarter acre blocks in Australia so that's a fair effort and the 2.4 gigahertz is just like the coverage is insane my neighbors a few doors down are getting it don't worry about that now when it comes to this 5 gigahertz frequency I was able to get 70 megabytes per second transfer speed 
So that's pretty much nearly 70% of what an Ethernet cable will give you. That's a super fast connection there. So it's about 600 megabits per second. And I've never been connected to Wi-Fi that fast. So it's performance is killer. And it doesn't stop there. Actually log into the router software and it's just insane. This is like a full operating system, this thing. So once you log in, boom, the dashboard hits you straight away. You can see your network traffic gaming first of course it's an rog router on the top you have the firmware you have the ssids and etc you can easily upgrade that firmware you can just go into this firmware page check it and it will download it for you and install it now the dashboard here you can see your network traffic you can see the status of the wireless you can see the ping and real-time information there it's unbelievable the amount of features this software has and especially geared for gaming and of course if you're a network guru you can go in here and dig into those settings you also have the game ips which is basically just antivirus and protection you got the parental controls which is fantastic you have the gamers boost here and this is where you can prioritize certain devices you can have a look at the bandwidth monitors see what's happening and then of course you have the qos the quality of service there and you can also have it analyze all the traffic so you know what's going on it really does a deep dive and gives you fantastic telemetry and you can really fine tune your network and give the devices you want bandwidth priority there then you have what the fast and basically just route your traffic through the most optimized path so you're always going to have the best gaming experience then you go into the game profile and it even has game profiles it's got a load of games here it's going to have more in the future and it will actually optimize the network for the specific game you want then if you go into the game radar you actually select the game you want and it'll actually tell you the pings of all the servers so you pick the one that's got the best ping and that's closest to you and getting the best performance there as you can see this is just the gamer's dream this router so then you got wi-fi radar which is basically telemetry there and you'll be able to survey your wi-fi there vpn of, of course you can log into the router remotely and use your own internet then you have the traffic analyzer and this really goes in deep and it analyzes things at a packet level and it really is a tweaker's dream to go in here and analyze all this data and then figure out what you're going to do you can see who's using the internet who's hogging the bandwidth and then your god you can start throttling them or at the very least know where all this bandwidth this going what's been downloaded you just seem like god you feel omniscient with this thing then you have the network map here that will show you all the bands the status the connection it'll show you the clients and you can also control what's plugged into the usb connections could be printer hard drive and you can even plug three or four g dongle in there and get internet out of it as well then you have the wireless setup so you can set up your wireless there of all the channels there a dedicated tab for the guest network you don't want people looking Looking at your local network you just put them on the guest network when they come to your house you have the WAN connection there and then you have the USB settings so you can have network print server you can have air disk where you can plug in like a USB stick or a hard drive and you can access it off site and so on make it a media server you can enable time machine etc you have AI cloud 2 which basically means you can access your data remotely then just some other settings like IPv6 at the firewall admin administration system log and network tools this thing is chock-a-block it's actually pretty simple it explains stuff and it's just so powerful if you want to dig in you got all that software at your hands there's nothing out there like this so i guess my conclusion is you can see i really do love this thing if i was in the market for a router as i said i'll just buy this straight away no problems it is expensive if you're a gamer it's a no-brainer especially if you're in that rog ecosystem just this is the one and because it's a gaming router it has the best performance so that means even if you're not a big gamer and you just want the fastest most powerful router out there this is the one to get to so if you've got the money if you've got a crappy old isp router or your router just needs replacing 
this is the one and it definitely gets my tally ho top draw best in class best router no problem it is the best let me know down there in the comments what you think of it and also if you actually think there's one better than this because i haven't seen one better i, I don't like those net gear ones i'm not a big fan of them i've had net gear i've had a couple of net gears before and i don't like them things may have changed now i don't know i'll have to probably have a look at one of the new ones but since i've had that asus router the rt ac 87u which is fantastic router and the thing is that's what i mean this thing here it's going to be still killer five years ten years and i've had that thing for i've got to be five years the 87u and it's the reason i'm not buying this one here is because that one is so good that i don't need to replace it and you know you're going to be covered with firmware so even now that rt ac 87u is old i still get firmware updates and feature updates so you'll be covered down the track four or five years you'll still be getting firmware updates so that's it give me a thumbs up if you like this video i'd like to really thank you guys for watching you guys are awesome until next time guys Tally ho.